Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a review and demo on the Wet n Wild Dual Ended Contour Stick. I was so excited when I saw that Wet n Wild was coming out with a dual ended contour stick, just a contour stick, the fact that it was dual ended, less than $5 was pretty exciting. This product so far you can only find at Walmart. I picked up mine in the shade light slash medium and then they have another shade that's like medium slash deep. It's a little bit darker but the kind of highlight shade is a little bit more yellow and then the contour shade is definitely a little bit more darker, a little bit warmer. Um, I'll show you guys kind of swatches of the two shades together. Um, I would say the highlight is definitely like a, these are definitely more cool tone. The one that I got is light slash medium, more cool tone. I feel like I wish I would have gotten the other one for comparison. And to try it in general, I feel like that's definitely runs more on the warm side. So the contour definitely has even like that kind of pinky undertone to it. So this is the amount of product that you get for less than $5. Not bad at all for about $5, two products. Um, I was pretty impressed with the way this glided onto my skin. I will say though that I feel like the contour side glided on a little bit easier, um, smoother. They're both smooth. I feel like contour even smoother onto the cheekbones. Um, the highlight side, not that it dragged at all. It definitely was not rough. They were both really, really creamy. But I feel like just like kind of like the coloring of it. I felt like could be my dry under eyes in general. Maybe those uh, areas I feel like are drier underneath my eyes. My nose is usually drier. My forehead. My chin was okay. So I'm not going to give it too much crap about that because I do have dry skin, oily skin. I feel like maybe you won't have that problem as much. I love how smoothly it glided on. To blend out my contour, I went in with the Morphe M436 first. Normally when I blend out contour, I like to go in with a dual fiber brush. I'll show you guys in the review and demo. Um, just applying the product, really, really easy to apply because it does come in this stick form. So I feel like this is really user friendly. You don't have to get a brush. You don't have to get all messy. This is super user friendly. I love the concept. I kind of glide that onto my face and first I go in with that dual fiber brush to kind of blend out just to get like that more evenness and kind of brush up. Um, and then I'll go in with a beauty blender. First I'll go in with a beauty blender for my under eyes um, just so I don't get it all brown and dark <laughs> with contour shading. For my under eyes and like I said those areas that I added the highlights um, I feel like it could have kind of um, blended out a little bit more smooth. I didn't notice like maybe patchiness kind of left over but that could be my dry skin so I'm not gonna you know blame it totally on the product and I feel like that happens a lot with the highlight sides. I feel like I wish they were a little bit creamier so I wasn't a big fan of how it blended out underneath my Underneath my eyes, it was alright. Um, on the forehead, I kind of noticed a little bit. But then I'll go in with the Beauty Blender, and then I'll kind of blend out the rest of the contour. I feel like once I go in with the Beauty Blender to blend out that contour, I feel like it could be the Beauty Blender, but I feel like the co the color just kind of comes off a little bit. Um, so that's why I kind of wish I would have got any deeper shade. Maybe that color would have kind of had more color pay off. Um, on my skin I feel like it would have showed up more because once I kind of blended everything out on my face I kind of didn't notice too much of a difference you guys let me know if you did um, so I don't know if maybe that might have something to do with the color so I don't know I feel like I love the fact that it was really creamy I love the fact that how it went on so smoothly but then when kind of blending further blending with a beauty blender I feel like the color kind of disappeared a little bit there so I was just I kind of gone over and over and used it over and over again to see if there would be a difference um, and no every time towards the end I'm like wait do I have cream contour there I'm not sure what's going on here um, and even kind of maybe like the highlights I first it kind of looks a little bit too bright but then it's just kind of you know blends off so I'm not the biggest fan <laughs> Of this product like I think it's okay I think it's worth a try for less than five bucks it could be my skin type but I don't know I feel like the fact that I could no longer see that color I remember even another time after I blended everything out I went back in and kind of drew that color the contour back on and I blended it out again and then I saw it a little bit more so maybe I would be willing to try the darker shade I don't know if you've tried this if you're around my skin tone. I'm a MAC NC25. I'm on the lighter side. Um, I feel like especially this contour should show up pretty well and this highlight is pretty light. Um, I feel like this could be should be a good match for me. I feel like the other shades can be a little bit too dark. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it out and give you guys an update but 
let me know if you have had the same problem other than that I think I love the creaminess of it um, I love the consistency of it check it out but I just wish the pigmentation was a little bit more noticeable the kind of contouring was a little the features were a little bit no more noticeable once I was done that's my only kind of complaint with it so that's why I'm just kind of like I'm in the middle with this product because some things didn't work and then the main kind of thing that you want for it to show up um, was not quite there. So if you've tried this, let me know if you've had that problem. I personally don't see myself reaching for this product as much. I feel like there's other cream contour products, high-end and drugstore that I like a little bit better. Definitely always and still am on the hunt for really great affordable um, cream contouring products. Um, I had my high hopes for Wet n Wild. I just wish it was a little bit better. Um, you know, not quite meeting my expectations. Uh, there's some other cream contouring products that I will be trying, so make sure to subscribe to keep up with some more videos. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.